all right hi everybody and welcome to my youtube channel it's another week it's another saturday and a new video is coming your way you know i had a vision um on thursday of this week and i saw it written in a paper change has changed change has changed and i was wondering what does it mean and the lord began to speak to me and say that we are in a season of open heavens and we are in a season where things are changing, things are transforming, things are upgrading and updating to become like the Lord has intended. Welcome to this week's word. And I really look forward to you going through this week's word and being blessed, edified, and encouraged by it. All right. So, Father, we thank you for this word. This word is coming forth as you have placed it in my heart. I pray that for everyone who watches, who listens, that they are empowered, they are equipped, they are encouraged, and that you transform their mindsets and prepare them for new possibilities of this season in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. All right, so this was the word of the Lord, and I'm going to read out some things that I wrote down, all right? He said, it's time to prepare for closure for the year ending of the season and beginning of a new one. Um, you've been standing at the brink of a new day and, it and you feel fear to let go of the past season because of the uncertainties of the future. You are apprehensive about moving forward because so much in the air is misunderstood and uncertain and you just don't want to throw yourself out there. Some of you have been wearing yourself out, trying to pull yourself together in pieces or even trying to do damage control from the previous season. The Lord says that these are his loose ends to take care of. It's time to rest and entrust everything to him. The Lord says it's time to let go and hand everything over to him. The Lord says like keys to the car that ran its race, it's time to hand over the car keys. It's time to give your heart space to process, to heal, to defragment, and to declutter. It's time to leave some things and just surrender everything. It's time to know, okay, now is the time to leave things. Now is the time to surrender. Now is the time to say goodbye. Um, many of us need to get to that point where we begin to say our goodbyes. We begin to say, okay, this is it. This is the end of it. I'm evolving. I'm becoming. I'm entering into a new environment, a new space, a new place. I'm becoming everything that God wants me to do, to be, I mean. And the Lord is saying, it's time to release your questions at the feet of Jesus. I know you have many questions and the Lord is saying, release your questions at my feet. Release your concerns at my feet. Release your uncertainties at my feet. The Lord is saying, it's time to give him your doubts. It's time to give him your fears. It's time to give him your trauma. It's time to give him your wound. It's time to just hand everything over to God. Now it's not the time to hold things back. Now it's not the time to try to protect God from your feelings protect God from the things that you are going through or have gone through. Now is the time to let go and surrender. And you know what the Lord also began to say, now it's time to let go of people. It's time to let go of cities. It's time to let go of expired and unfinished projects. There are certain projects that, yes, God told us to start them, but we've gotten to a place where God is saying, let go of it. I want you to release this one. You are done as regards this one, and I need you to let go of it. And God is saying, you have come to the season where I'm asking you, release these things. Release these things. There are certain people in our lives that God is saying, you're holding to them too tight. You're holding on to them too closely. You need to let go of them. And the Lord is also saying, you need to untie yourself from certain expectations that did not come to pass. There are certain expectations that you held so there. And God is saying, let go of these expectations. Let go of them. They didn't come to pass. Release them. And let me give you expectations for the new season. The Lord is saying, it's time to shut some doors of failures. It's time to shut the, failure, the door of lies. It is time to shut the lies that you didn't do well, you didn't work well, you didn't act well. The Lord is saying, it's time 
to shut the door. The Lord is also saying it's time to reconcile within yourself. Now it's not just an external thing, but the Lord is bringing it home internally. It's time to reconcile within yourself. It's time to look at yourself and say to yourself, listen, I know it didn't work in the past. Now I have to let go of it and look forward and press forward to the things that God has shown me and God has spoken to me. The Lord is saying it's time to turn your head away from the past. There are so many people that the enemy is using their past to hold them bound. The enemy is using your past to hold you ransom. And the Lord is saying, it's time to turn your face away from the past and begin to look forward towards the future. It's time to turn aside from all of that. The Lord says, it's time to um, enter into a season of creativity. You've come through a season of survival. The past season has just been all about, oh, I just need to survive. I just need to survive. I just need to survive. The Lord is saying, I'm inviting you to a high level of creativity in this season. I need you to become creative again. I need you to come back to the drawing board and sit with me and let me teach you what to do. Let me teach you when to do it and how to do it. The Lord is saying it is time to shift out of worry into wonder. It's time to not no longer just be worried about, oh, is this going to work? To wonder, like being a child all over again, that, that childlikeness, that excitement, let it come back to you again. It's not worrying about how would this backfire? How, what are the consequences of this? The Lord says, hear my voice and wonder. Hear my voice and like a child receive my word. Hear my voice and like a child run with the things that I have spoken to you, the things I have shown you, the things I have encouraged you with. The Lord is saying in this season, now it's not the time to feel discouraged. Now it's not the time to feel low. Now it's not the time to feel you disappointed. Now it's the time to come back to the wonder, a season of wonder. The Lord is saying, remove the labels, re remove the doom and the gloom syndrome, remove all of this. There is a new open heavens that I have called you to. I have called you to walk in open heavens. I've called you to walk in the unusual. I've called you to walk in the uncommon. I've called you to walk in the different. This is not like every other year. This is not like every other season that you've seen. This is different. And you know, um, my, my mentor, Dr. Cindy Trim said something two years ago for the first time. She said, the world you were born into no longer exists. It's time to pivot. It's time to live different. It's time to open up your eyes to the opportunities. And by this word, by the spirit of God, I'm summoning pioneers. The Lord says to call for pioneers people that will carve a new path with him, people that will live under the new open heaven and innovate and create and come up with ideas that will revolutionize the world. The Lord says, this is an invitation to dream with me again. This is an invitation to come up hither and do life differently with me. The Lord says, this is not the usual. This is not the common. This is not what you are used to. I am inviting you to do life differently. I'm inviting you to live life differently. The Lord is saying another grace period is opened up to you that you will abandon the doom and the gloom of the previous season and to let go of the things that did not work in the past and to let go of the criticisms of the past and the things that people did to hurt you in the past. The Lord says, carve a new path with me. Um, I know that some of us are trying to reconcile between what was expected and what we are seeing and how that the thought we thought the doors we thought was opening didn't end up opening and we just felt like we're in a season of so many unfamiliar things and the Lord says that in this season he's calling us to carve a new path with him the Lord says this is an invitation to dream again with me the Lord says this is an, an invitation to release creativity from inside out. The Lord says, will you create with me again? Will you journey with me again? Will you innovate with me again? There are 
are new ideas that I have put in your spirit. They are new strategies that I have unleashed on your inside. And in this season, it's an invitation to push out in the place of prayer and meditation, the things that God has placed in you. For the Lord says in this season, I'm releasing new burdens to pray. I'm releasing new burdens to wait on me. I'm releasing new burdens to stay in stillness and silence. The Lord says, even in this season, I'm calling you to separation. I'm pulling you apart. I'm bringing you out of the crowd. I'm bringing you out of the known. I am pushing you into a season where you see like I see, where you think like I think, when you talk like I talk. The Lord says that this is not life as usual. I am inviting you to more. I'm inviting you to particular and specific things in this season where you begin to see from the realms and the depths that I have shown you in times past. The Lord says, even in this season, revisit the prophetic words that have been spoken over you. Revisit those words that seem like they were so far-fetched. For the Lord says, in not too long from now, I will cause them to come to pass. If you dream with me, if you journey with me, if you live with me, if you run with me, for the Lord says, not so. No more will you be disappointed. No more will you be cast aside and brought down. No more will you feel lowly. No more will you feel abandoned. No more will you feel like this is the end of the road. The Lord says, I invite you to come up hither. I invite you to walk deeper with me. For the wealthy place has been opened up to you. And you can only step into it when I hold your hand. Just like Cyrus, the Lord says, I will hold hold your hands and show you the treasures of darkness and the treasures of hidden places. I will unveil to you things that you did not know, things that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it come into the heart of men. The Lord says, watchers rise again. In this season, it's an invitation for watchers to come and awaken again and begin to watch with the Lord. For as you watch with the Lord, says the Spirit of the Lord, I'm revealing creativity. I'm opening new realms. I'm opening new doors. I'm opening I'm opening new seasons over you. The Lord says, do not be discouraged by the last season, but rather live in wonder, live expectant, live in joy and get ready for you are in a season of open heaven. So Father, I pray for everyone who is watching this video right now and I just release a freshness over them, a freshness of your presence, a freshness of your glory, a freshness of your power. I release a freshness of new dimensions of creativity, a freshness of new dimensions of grace, a freshness of new dimensions of help, that they will not live life as usual. They will not just go through life in sadness and in, 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 in this in this bubble of uncertainties, but in this season, they will dream with you again. They will journey with you again. They will live with you again. They will run with you again, even in this season. Lord, I ask for increased help in this season, for even the angels that you've released in this season to partner with men. I pray, Lord, that in this season, that they are activated to go into people's lives and people's destinies and to partner with them to create, to build. I decree and declare that everyone under the sound of my voice will build according to pattern. They will run in alignment with your heart and with your thoughts for them, oh God. I pray that they will become all that you've meant for them to be. In Jesus' most mighty name we've prayed. Amen and amen. Welcome to a new season of open heavens. Your heavens are open and it's going to rain on common, rain on usual, rain on precedented because you will dream with God again. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. When the last few days of prayer cruise, please do feel free to join us and be a part of prayer cruise. I believe that your life will not be the same and the Lord will strengthen and equip you for more. The Lord will empower you for the things that he has called you to be in this season. See you soon and remain blessed. Bye for now.